Are you two ready for the interview? Yes. Griffin, tell me all about you and Rachel. I go on dinner dates. Will you explain how we met? And we explain how we met. Well, just explain. Like, we've been dating for. We've been dating for nine, nine years. Tell them when we got married. We got married April 29th of, of 2023. I love his personality. I, I do. I mean, me and him, I just love his personality. I mean, his he has a great personality and his soul and everything. I mean, every day I see him. When I see him, it just makes me happy. I mean, it does. Is it okay if I ask you questions about autism? Yeah. Do you have autism? Yes, I do. And he has, um, I think, what do you have? Autism? Yes, I have autism. Did you know right away that Rachel had autism? Yes, I did know right away. How could you tell? Uh, because I first met Rachel. But how could you tell I have autism? Because you have d d Down syndrome. No, I don't have Down syndrome. How could, how could you tell that I had autism? He's trying to ask. How could you tell that I had autism? Because I was born in 1998. I try to help him a little bit. How could you tell that I had autism when you first met me? Was it that your mom told you that I had autism? Or how did you know that it I had It was that my mom told me. I think. Did you know that Griffin was also autistic? Mm -mm. Until I found out from his mom. What did you think when his mom shared that he's autistic? I just started crying. I just felt great that we both had it. So you're both autistic. Does that mean you're exactly the same? No. Right? It, I mean, we're not the same. We're different. We're all different. We're all different. In what ways are you and Rachel different? In negative ways and positive ways. Well, I like to ride my bike and do all that, and he doesn't. He likes to walk. And I like to listen to music in the car, and he doesn't, right? We're kind of taking turns and compromising, making a deal. Yeah, but we take turns in the car and making compromise. Compromise. Where I tell him, can we listen to it for five minutes? For five minutes. And then we turn it off, right? Yes. What's your favorite thing to do, Griffin? It's to do laundry. Why do you like laundry? Because I like to have clean clothes. Griffin, is there anything that confuses you about the world? Not getting my way. Not getting what I want all the time. How do you feel when things don't go as you want? Frustrated. But how do you feel? Embarrassed. He starts yelling and he starts biting himself and screaming. Like one time I was at dinner with him, we, he threw the chairs down, but he was upset. But it was also a late night, so it was, you know, and the noise, you know, when there's a lot of people and stuff like that, you know, there's, changes everything, right Griffin? It just changes everything, yes. Do you like a more calm and peaceful environment? I do like a calm, more peaceful environment. And we're just trying to teach him, you know, take deep breaths, you know, um, it's okay. I mean, you're not going to get your way all the time. Like, I mean, I don't get my way all the time and I get frustrated and I do the things that he does and it's going to be okay, right? And it's going to be, all right, I can get, I can get my way next time. When you do feel frustrated, does Rachel help you? Yes, Rachel helps me. What does she say to you? Just calm down, take deep breaths. Do you love him? Even when he's feeling frustrated? I do. And do you love me when I'm feeling frustrated? Yes, I do. I noticed that you kind of look around a lot. Yeah. Is it hard for you to focus? Sometimes, but when I look around a lot, that's part of my disorder of ADHD. To make sure everything's right, but yeah. So tell me about what you're looking at and making sure. It's Just looking at things that need to be fixed in this house. A little touch up paint, you know, how that is. You know, it's a house, so things are gonna fall and need to be touched up, <laughs> like, a, like a normal house. How would you <laughs> describe ADHD? 
Um, ADHD is like fidgety, make sure everything's perfect. Like, as you can tell, I like everything perfect. Like everything straight, like I like everything straight, organized. Um, I never keep this house a mess. Like this house that I'm living in right now, I always keep it clean, I always keep it organized. Do you two ever have disagreements? Do we ever have different agreements? No. No. How are you able to avoid disagreements? How are we able to avoid disagreements, Griffin? Is it by, like, what do you think? Uh, doing what my wife says and not doing things bowing in front of my wife. Did you two have a traditional proposal, meaning that somebody get down on one knee? Um, I kind of just did it my way on and and out here. I just texted his mom and said, hey, can we do it? And she goes, yeah, let's just do it. So we just did it. She texted his mom and said, can we get married? Yeah. Can I get engaged with them? Yeah. And then we just started planning the wedding. Tell me all about your mom. She cooks me dinner and takes me to get food and takes care of me and gets me some beauty products from Dollar Tree, put lots of nuts from salt and toothpaste and toothbrush. We're here in your beautiful home. Can you tell me about your living accommodations? Well, this is like my bed. This is where I sleep. This is my table. Is it okay if I take the camera off and kind of give the tour? Yeah, this is like my, you know, this is my bed. This is where I sleep. And then this is my kitchen table. That's like my kitchen. Um, hey, Griffin. I'm in the backyard of my parents' house. Um, they built this for me to be more independent. So what's it like to have your own place and be right out back of your parents? It's, it's cool. I love it every day. I thank them every day about it, that I love it. Introduce your parents. Um, this is my mom. Her name's Ann. I, I call her Aunt Mom, but her name's Ann. Um, she's an artist. Um, and then this is my dad. His name's Richard, but I call him Dad. He's a financial advisor. Um, they have really, really have helped me all my life um, get through from where I am now to where I used to be. They just make me happy every day. And, they're, and they will always be my parents and I love them. Do you two live together? No, we um, go back and forth. Like we spend the day together, but we haven't really gotten to that far. And I don't think it's gonna happen right now. I think we're just gonna hang out more and go to dinner. And I go back and forth and spend the evening at his house and he comes over here. We go do different things like activities and stuff. Um, but no, we don't live together. I lift every Wednesday. <clears throat> I lift every Wednesday. You, he goes to weightlifting every Wednesday. Do you like lifting every Wednesday? Uh, yes, I do like lifting every Wednesday. Because it's good for me. What's it like to date a man who does weightlifting? Pretty cool. <clears throat> Pretty cool, right? Uh, pretty cool, yeah. I think they both have an unwavering commitment to each other. They love each other and they'll be companions forever, but they don't feel the need to live together or spend the night together. And so it just looks a little different. They go on a date, we go Monday night, we go to dinner. Or Tuesday night. Or Tuesday sometimes. <laughs> we come get Rachel and go to dinner and then we come home and they're happy with that. Um, it might develop into more at some point, but they're very happy with the way things are. So. so you're happy to let it develop however they want? Absolutely. Absolutely. I was a little stressed out because like uh, Rachel doesn't really understand. We've tried repeatedly over the years to help her to understand kind of like how men and women work, um, adult men and women. And um, we have ordered books and we've had conversations and the OBGYN has as well. And the OBGYN was like, she just doesn't understand, and I'm like, I know. How do you two express your love to one another? How do we express our love, Griffin? Hey, hi, my name is Griffin. What's your name? No, he's asking how do we express our love together. How do we express our love together? How do you show Rachel that you love her? I kiss her. Is it okay to say, like, the most they've done is give each other a sweet little peck? I mean, that's... Oh, yeah, that's fine. That's what they've done. And it's... And, and when... 
when she came and told us the first little, it was, you remember that? Mm -hmm. And she came in and we were both laying in the bed and she was like, Mom, he asked if it was okay if he gave me a kiss. And he kissed me and she goes, and I liked it. Is that okay? <laughs> and I said, yes, that's okay. That's super sweet and that's 100% okay. Just makes me smile and makes me grateful and encouraged that I was able to marry someone that has autism and it just makes me happy that he me and me and him both fit together and so I'm preparing all this you know I'm I'm like reading books and you know because that's my thing to do when I get all stressed out I'm like let me read a book and Paige was like and they may just want to keep doing things the way they've been doing things and I was like oh okay and that's what they've wanted to do well they love their routine right absolutely yes. <laughs> do you ever have sleepovers with Rachel no I don't have no I do not I feel upset about having sleepovers with Rachel. Do you prefer to sleep alone? I prefer to sleep alone. Do you like the way your marriage works? Yes, I do. What's your favorite thing about your marriage? About my marriage. What's my favorite thing? Hmm. Is. Hmm. It, it, what's my favorite thing about my marriage? is to go on a walk. That's something they never asked for, is to spend the night together? No, and it's funny because when I said, you realize Griffin may want to spend the night, and she went, well, why would he want to do that? <laughs> and I said, well, honey, because, and, um, and she was like, well, we already sleep. And I was like, well, he probably would want to sleep in the bed with you. And she goes, well, I don't understand all that. And I was like, okay, well, I don't know what to say here. So, I mean, they have just keep, kept on doing, as you said, their routine. Yeah. And Paige was right. Have you witnessed their love grow stronger? I think so. But the thing with them, you know, I think we were talking inside about people going through their first heartbreak. And, you know, you get a boyfriend and break up. And... The two of them, it, it was never wavering from the minute they decided they were each other's person. I feel like they've never, neither one of them has ever wavered off of their love. So. Have you me. always loved Rachel? I did always love Rachel, yes. Will you always love Rachel? Yes, I will. I do love Rachel. How do you know that you love Rachel? Uh, because me and Rachel have been dating for nine years. What does love feel like? Mm. Love feels like life. It's a non-traditional type marriage, but there's love between both of them. And, uh, and respect. Yes. And honor. And, I mean, like, beautiful. We, yeah. We view him as her husband, as our son-in-law. And, uh... He's in family pictures. Yes. And he's very kind to Rachel. And very good to her. Yes. How do you feel when she says that she loves you? Uh, I feel happy. And what? And grateful. What is the best thing about being in love? Marriage. Right? Yes, marriage. Why is marriage the best? Uh... Why is marriage the best? Why? Uh, uh, you don't have to look at me. So I can be married forever. What do you think, Rachel? Um, well, I just think marriage is good for us. It's a lifetime memory. And I just think, you know, it's moving forward ahead and um, just, you know, it's just a big step, but it's a personality and, you know, we love to be together um, and it's just, I'm grateful that I have him and, you know grateful that God gave us each other and to be with him. Right? Right. Introduce each of your siblings. Um, this is Kira Glazer King. She's 34, married, has two kids. And then this is my brother. He's 26. 
single, not married, um, <laughs> has a house. <laughs> What's his name? Kaylin Patrick Lutz. Um, and then this is my sister, Ashton Elizabeth Lutz. She's 17, not married. She has a <laughs> job and is homeschooled. Thank you for those introductions. What is it like having Rachel as a sister? Oh my gosh. Yeah, you go ahead. You want me to go? Yeah, you go ahead. Um, exciting. There's never a dull moment. Can you describe the living situation of how your parents and you are in the house over there and she has her little home back here? Yes. Um, well, before this, obviously, she was in the same house as us for as long as forever since I was young. Um, and then just up until recently, she decided that it was now time for her to move out. So she's now out here. But essentially what that looks like is um, waking up, uh, and it's been a year now, so waking up, and usually you would see Rachel already out and about in the kitchen or in the living room doing her thing, but now you wake up and you're like, wait, where is she? Like, what? I always wonder if she's been in the house yet or where she's gone, but um, <laughs> she will come in every now and then, usually in the mornings for some coffee. She does have coffee with um, my parents and uh, sometimes some food. My dad makes some good, good breakfast, she'll come in but she'll say hello. She'll be in there for maybe about 20 minutes. She'll head out, and then you do not know what she's doing for the rest of the day. Griffin, what's your favorite TV show? What's a TV show? You, he doesn't really watch TV. But do you watch TV? I like my favorite movie, Mean Girls. He she doesn't see, even go here. She doesn't even go here. They just went to go see that movie last weekend. What are some other lines from Mean Girls? I can't go Taco Bell on my milk carb diet. God, can you're so stupid. Do you have any other favorite lines? What are your other favorite lines? About doing, them doing the Christmas song, uh, song and Gretchen kicking the ram, kicking the rail off the stage. Why is Mean Girls your favorite movie? Why is it your favorite movie, Griffin? Because of Regina, Karen, and Gretchen, and Katie. Because of the girls being mean. He loves girls being mean. Why do you like girls being mean? Uh, Why do you like girls being mean? Because of them doing funny things. I mean, it's just it's amazing to see two people who both struggle in their own ways come together. What is it like being married? Uh, doing activities sometimes. What activities do you and Rachel do together? We go to dinner together. You, you don't, you, you got it. I'm not going to talk anymore, but you got this. I got this. Just explain to him what we do together. I work at Biddy and Bo's. How do you feel when Rachel helps you? I feel happy. You appreciate her help? I appreciate her help. Mm -hmm. No matter the, their difficulties that, that they go through, you know, they're there for each other and support each other and they had a really big party they that had was a big huge party. there was three all the people that 300 that people there 300 came. people there you know I, and i even said i i wrote back and I said so sorry if i couldn't say hello to everybody like i was so overwhelmed <laughs> like there were so many people there tell me about the wedding oh you want to share a little bit about that well the wedding was uh at a beautiful location on isle of hope and um probably about 250 of their their friends and our close friends um it was just a beautiful event. My main thing is that I found somebody that loves me. That's my main thing. They've been together and they decided at some point they wanted to get married. So um, I think we all just felt that whatever it looked like, they deserved, if that was what they wanted, they deserved to have that. And it didn't have to look like everybody else's marriage. It could look like their marriage. Why did you want to be married? Um, and not just date. What do you think? Because I just was, I don't know, I was ready to be married and I guess help them and do our, achieve our goals and our dreams together. What are some tips you learned to have a happy marriage? Uh, about, hey Rachel, will you please marry me? 
What are you thinking, Rachel? He's think he's saying like happy tips, Griffin. Mm-hmm. What are happy tips? What are happy tips? Um uh, Use your you're smart. Use your brain. Would you like me to ask the question in a different way? Uh about having people over for brunch? If somebody wants their marriage to be happy, what should they do? Uh they should love each other.